Use this to call money into your life in this new month. You're going to do this to call money and abundance. There shall be no lack in your life in this month. Yes, use this to call money. You use money to get money, whether through buy and sell or by praying. The best form of prayer, the best form of money prayer is to get your money and pray with your money to God. You are now praying for multiplication. You are now praying for abundance. You are now praying for God to open the doors of wealth, the doors of financial abundance in your life. So are you willing to do this? <laughs> are you tired of begging and borrowing? Are you tired of your bees not met, your landlord? In fact, at times, when you cannot pay your bees, you receive lots of insult. Not just from maybe your landlord or the people you owe, but from your family members. When some needs cannot be met. So you need to take financial prayers very seriously. Working alone is not enough to attract money. Those people who are poor, of course, they are poor. Not because they don't know how to work. Not because they are not hardworking. Breaking news, they are very hardworking. Even more than myself. In fact, most poor people, they do the most tedious jobs. They don't even have the time to rest. The time to relax, like us. Most are under the sun, the scorching sun. Lifting heavy objects, at times hawking, stressing. They fall sick, they look haggard. So it is not by might or power or strength that brings abundance. It is by the grace of God. Call money. Call it. And money will come to you. Money is a spirit. It is years. Call it. And see. You are not just going to call it. Call it in the name of Jesus. Remember at the name of Jesus. Every knee shall bow. Money is not a sin. Listen to me. Don't allow anyone to confuse you. By telling you money is a sin. You need money to live in this life. You need money to meet your everyday expenses. You need money to... In fact, if I want to tell you the importance of money, I'm not going to leave here. So, God bless you. You are most welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you are seeing my face, look at me very well. For the first time, may God bless you. Please subscribe if you have not. Turn on the bell notification beside the subscribe button to get updates. Give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you join us because we go on live every day, 12 a.m. Nigeria time, at times 6 a.m. Nigeria time, but basically 12 a.m. And share this video with your friends if you want them to attract money. Whenever I do this, I see lots of money in that month. And all the people I have introduced this simple prayer for, they come back to testify. So this is money. Nigerian currency. Nigerian currency, presently the highest currency in Nigeria. 1,000 Naira notes. If you are not in Nigeria, you can use any currency that you have. Whether it is the lowest or know that you should be willing to sow this out. You're going to sow this out. Start your month by giving and favor, financial favor will come to you. This is one way to get financial favor. One great way by giving. There is nothing as good as starting your month by giving. You start a new month by giving. And people will give you, help you, give you and give you throughout that month. Okay? So, with that being said, this is your money. All you need to do is to hold your money. And begin to make your declaration. You want God to bring money for you. Pray it. I receive money in this month of September. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Today, September 1st, 
or any month you are watching this, any other month you watch this, you are free to do it. It is not just for September alone, for every month. Today, 1st of September, or any other month, I call forth financial abundance into my life in this month, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Today, 1st of September, 2023, I, Henrietta Dennis, I call forth financial abundance, financial favor, financial miracle, into my life, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Use your words. But call out the day, the month, and your name. Very important. If you can add the year, it's fine, but it's okay. I always add the year. In the name of Jesus, there is a difference between financial favor and financial blessing and financial abundance. Financial abundance is when you have lots of money. Financial favor is when you have money gifts. And this kind of money is sweet. You don't need to work so hard, so tedious to get your money. People can gift you with money. Give you money. In Nigeria, we call it dash you money or give you money freely as a gift. That is financial favor. You don't need to work for it. You don't need to sweat for all the money you get. So, you should be able to call that in every month. In every month, the money I receive as favor, I cannot tell you much that I don't have to work for. So, when you call financial favor, you also call financial abundance. Now, you want money to flow to you in abundance. Lots of money will come through your effort, to, through any other means, and financial blessing. So call this TV in the name of Jesus because it is also good for financial abundance to come to you through your efforts. Of course, we work. You should work. As a child of God, you should be hard working. I'm not saying you should die working, but you should have something legal you are doing before you say this prayer so that God will bless your efforts. God will bless your efforts, no more wasted efforts. Not that you spend your time walking, walking, you walk like an elephant and eat like an ant. You eat like a crocodile. You perch and perch and perch when you should be living in abundance. You spend your life serving people, when will you be a master? You think you are still young, your age is adding. You don't stay in this life forever. So the few times you are going to stay, you should live in abundance. And God will do that for you. So call this. Call this as much as you can. Just that singular prayer. Please. I, Henrietta Dennis, today, 1st of September, or any other month, I call forth financial favor into my life in this month, in the name of Jesus. Amen. I, Henrietta Dennis, today, 1st of September, I call forth financial abundance into my life, into my family, in this month, in the name of Jesus. Amen. I, Henrietta Dennis, today, 1st of September, I call forth financial blessing into my life, into my family, in the name of Jesus. Amen. You don't have to arrange it the same, but make sure you touch and call out some important things. In the name of Jesus. As you are still holding this money, you get your Bible and read Psalm 20 TV. This is a Psalm where the Lord has promised you abundance. Read Psalm 20 TV from verse 1 to the end. So when you are done with that, you begin to pray. Now pray with your words. Oh Lord, in this month of September, make me rich. Oh Lord, in this month of September, make money come to me. I will not borrow in this month. I will not beg in this month. I will not lack in this month. I will not be a debtor in this month. I will clear all my debts. In the name of Jesus, in this month, I shall make money effortlessly. Money shall be my friend. I shall be successful. My month of progress, my month of wealth, my month of abundance, my month of prosperity, my month of blessing, all-round blessing. 
I receive it in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, as I start my month by giving, oh Lord, let financial favor flow in my life. People will give me huge amount of money as a gift. People will give me huge amount of money as a gift. I saw this to establish my financial favor, my financial abundance, my financial blessing in this month of September. In the name of Jesus, amen. I saw this to establish my financial favor, my financial blessing, my financial abundance in this month of September or any other month in the name of Jesus. Amen. Say this three times. Three times after you have read Psalm 23. So take note. There is a prayer you pray before you read the psalm. The only thing you pray before you read the psalm is to declare financial abundance, financial blessing and financial favor. The way I told you. Then you read your scripture before you start praying. Before you start praying. Then to conclude your prayer, tell God that you are sowing this to establish your financial favor throughout the month. You are sowing this to establish your financial abundance, your financial blessing throughout the month. Say this three times in the name of Jesus. Amen. That is it. Immediately you are done with the prayer. You go out and use that money. Use that money to help someone. You can give it to any beggar or use it to buy some stuff. Go to the orphanage or sow it in church. These are all ways of charity. Please give this to people you know that you have more than. Not people that will reward you back. Not people that are still okay. People that you have more than. And don't always give to one beggar. Go out. If you don't have the time, the chance on that day, no problem. After your prayer, just keep the money in some 20 TV. Till the next day, you give it out. Do this and money will flow to you. As you give this out, give freely. Any amount of money that you have, don't worry. Money will come to you. As you do that with your faith, I challenge you on this because this is my secret. Anything you touch, money will come. People who forgot you will remember you. There are people who even call me and give me financial gifts. People I know a long time ago. Ah, please, send your account details. I want to bless you. Ah, please, give me your account details. So buy me gifts. They don't give me physical cash. Depend. But more of favor, free favor. We all love free things. Gifts. Not that we would not work, but you should once in a while be favored without stress. Do this for favor. Do this for free money. Do this to be successful. Do this for money to come in abundance from your efforts. Throughout this month of September, you shall make lots of money. In this month, you shall be rich. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you for watching. Please subscribe if you have not. Make sure the bell is turned on for more videos. Happy New Month. God bless you.